Well, a new poll in the race for Louisiana governor shows a former underdog gaining some significant ground here. The latest survey conducted by JMC Analytics and Polling shows businessman Eddie Rasponi overtaking Congressman Ralph Abraham by three points and now in second place. Governor John Bell Edwards remains in the lead with 46% of the vote. Abraham's campaign team released a statement today calling the poll fake and questioning the pollsters' methods. All these new numbers come as the candidates double down on camera time ahead of the election. Edwards, Rasponi, and Abraham each stopped by the Baton Rouge Press Club's forum today. NBC Local 33's Harrison Golden takes us there. If this election comes down to whether surpluses are better than deficits, I like my chances. <laughs> but Governor John Bell Edwards' his Republican opponents argue that the art of campaigning comes down to science. Momentum equal mass times velocity. I assure you, Governor, we're going backwards in a train if, if you put that physics equation down. We have to do something different, and it starts by electing a different kind of governor. Right where last Thursday's Next Star debate finished off, the Republican challengers continuing their fire against the Democratic incumbent, this time taking aim at criminal justice reinvestments the governor approved two years ago. John Bill Edwards' rollout was a disaster. And we had some, some dangerous people that were released. That have killed, that have raped, that have assaulted. But the governor defending that legislation, saying only those who had served time for nonviolent offenses were released. And we are saving money. We're reinvesting the savings as we were supposed to, and we are safer. Global warming also raised, with Abraham and Rasponi saying suing fossil fuel giants would only send the oil and gas industry elsewhere. They want to be part of building the coast back. They have the technology. Trying to extort money from them and not put it back into the environment is not the right approach. But the governor defending his stance, saying money is going back to the sportsman's paradise. And one of the first things I was able to do with the first budget surplus was actually repay the money to the Coastal Trust Fund that had been swept out by Governor Jindal, uh, plus some. And asked if any of the hopefuls had ever switched parties, the two Republicans getting candid. I started out as a Democrat at 18 years old. It didn't take long to change to a Republican. Uh, once I got a job and started working. I also registered as a Democrat at 18 because I simply didn't know better. Now I do. While the Deep South's lone Democratic governor says he's long stood by his party. I believe that we have an obligation to do what we can on behalf of our brothers and sisters. Harrison Golden, your local election headquarters.